since the cause of the disease is a change in variation in the nature of the atmosphere by which the matter of the disease gets to the heart and since man has to breathe as long as he lives and since he has to breathe in the atmosphere in which he lives prevention is almost impossible unless one can find a substitute way of living but as we said it doesn't suffice that the active agent of the plague does its work on its own there has to be a disposition in man to make its work possible man needs several things in life some of them necessary others are luxuries he can use them vicariously without measure which makes him irresponsible or he can live moderately as his god-given reason science and wisdom teach this is the best protection for any man <coughs> One should always take care to have fresh air by living in houses facing north, by filling them with cold fragrances and aroma of flowers, such as myrtle and oriental poplars, by sprinkling the houses with rose water mixed with vinegar, and also use the same on oneself. Also, anoint your face and hands with the same cool fragrances. Frequently smell such things. Also, sour lemons and limes as well as cooling flowers, such as roses and violets. Also, burn sandalwood mixed with a little aloe steeped in rose water. Also, avoid anything which can produce heat, such as rice bran, which causes headaches and excite bodily humors. Also, beware of warm winds, stoves, and everything which produces heat. <laughs>